Buongiorno e benvenuti, I'm Stephanie Smith from Minor Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this luxury property for sale in the heart of Rome. Check it out! Welcome to Rome. Today we are going to start our tour in the Giardini di Villa Borghese. And behind me is La Galleria Borghese. Why are we starting here? Because it's a short walk from the property. Il Giardino di Villa Borghese è tra i più grandi della città di Roma ed è casa di alberi secolari, monumenti, statue e un laghetto. inside the property in one of the most elite residential areas of the city of Rome and only a couple of meters away from Villa Borghese. The property is surrounded by this paved terrace, has four entrances, three of which accessible by car. The main entrance, made in Travertino, takes inspiration by Egypt, as we can see by the obelisks and sphinx that frame the doorway. Adjacent to the main entrance is a variety of sitting areas, perfect to enjoy a nice warm day in the summertime. Before we go inside, let me tell you a little bit about the property. It is 2,200 square meters, developed on five levels, has 13 bedrooms and six bathrooms. A panoramic terrace, a wellness area, an indoor pool, and a billiard room. It is surrounded by 1,000 square meters, comprehensive of a parking area, external sitting areas, and an internal court. Ma ora, venite con me. We are on the ground floor of this majestic villa. I mean, just look at these chandeliers. They're beautiful and we will find others throughout the house. From this floor, we have a direct access to the living room. This elegantly furnished room is divided into two distinct sitting areas. The tall vaulted ceilings are retroilluminated by LED lighting and frame these gorgeous crystal chandeliers. In a later moment, the doorways were enlarged to create an open space. In fact, from this first living room, we pass on to another sitting area. The rooms have beautiful wooden floors. The villa was originally built in the 1400s and the famous architect Ridolfi worked on the project. Throughout time, the villa underwent many enlargements, giving it the look that it has today. But we still have a lot to see, so let's continue with the tour. An elevator was added to facilitate the access from floor to floor of the villa. Right now, we are on the lower floor that still enjoys natural light. This is an imperial style living area that has beautiful wooden floors and a frescoed ceiling original to the villa that shows a bucolic hunting scene and is retro illuminated by lead lighting. Between the 50s and the 70s, the villa hosted a literary salon that saw as participants some of the most relevant personalities in the Italian culture scene at the time. 
From the living room, we have a direct access to the study. The room maintains that elegant and imperial style that we have seen throughout the villa up to now. The walls are covered in wooden bookshelves with carved details. And the room is complemented by pieces of artwork and this magnificent chandelier. But now, let's continue the tour. Always on this floor is the dining room with adjacent kitchen. Central to the room is this lovely dining table that can easily sit eight to 10 people. The color schemes chosen in the room are lighter, which is in perfect contrast with the darker artwork. But we're not done here. Now follow me. From the dining room, we have a direct access to this hallway that will take us to the second part of the house where we'll find a guest bathroom and a home office. Here we are in the home office, which also has a TV area. I wanted to show you this space because it's very particular. Behind each window, there are stone arches that look onto the private chapel below. I have never seen anything like this, but if you follow me, we'll go and check it out. See you down there. We are on the lowest level of the villa and we have beautiful marble floors and vaulted ceilings. This floor is composed of many rooms divided by beautiful arches that the owners use to show their artwork but are actually very versatile spaces. They could be used also as an apartment. On this floor we have the private chapel as mentioned before. This space is being dismantled at the moment and brought to a monastery. If we look up, those are the windows from which we were looking down before. Just look at the craftsmanship in the painted marble columns and in the actual marble work. It's breathtaking. But now I want to show you the true pièce de résistance of this floor. Follow me. From the private chapel, now we're going to go and see a second part of the floor. Already from here, you can imagine what I'm about to show you. The property has its own competition size indoor swimming pool. I love the contrast between the blue and the red of the fabrics and of the carpets. It works really well together and also I like how the owners chose to use large windows to be able to see the particular aspects of the house from many spaces. I love how they embellish the space with marble details and this modern applique. It gives it that extra touch. is a Turkish bath and a bathroom made of black marble that serves the floor. From the floor we have access to this internal court with central stone gazebo with carved details. So romantic. We are on the main staircase, illuminated by this gorgeous chandelier and surrounded by artwork. Now we are heading to see the bedrooms of the property. The elegant style also follows us on this floor. 
Here we will find four bedrooms, each with their own private bathroom, a study, and a walk-in closet with access to a terrace. We are in the first bedroom. I love the wooden structure that was added to elevate the bed. The bedroom has a double exposure, so other than enjoying a lot of natural light, it also has a pleasant breeze during the warm months. The room can be accessed both by the main hallway, but is also part of a private suite. With a study that has a lovely balcony. This is a second bedroom part of the suite. It has a beautiful view over nature, a double exposure, and an adjacent bathroom. I love how the wallpaper matches the, the headboard. That is classy. Here we have access to a double bedroom. And right in front of me is the walk-in closet with chandeliers and access to an outdoor terrace and two bathrooms. But now, let's go check out the last floor. We are on the last floor and more recent part of the house. Here the style is more contemporary as we can see by the furniture and artwork, which differs compared to the rest of the villa that is more classical. Center to the room is this billiard table and on each side we have two symmetrical sitting areas. So if you don't feel like playing, that's okay. You can just sit and relax. The room has a lot of natural light thanks to the large windows that are present on this side of the room and from which we have access to one of the most exclusive features of the property, the rooftop terrace. This space wraps around the whole floor and it offers a large variety of sitting, sunbathing and dining areas to cater to every need and every occasion, such as a dinner party with your friends and family. That sounds like fun. On the one side, the terrace looks over the Giardini di Villa Borghese, while on the other side, it has a view of the city of Rome. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And now I'm gonna go and get ready to taste some Roman delicacies. Ciao!